Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Virtue's Last Reward. We are just about done with the Never Betray segment of the game. Currently, obviously, this branch was the one branch we did a betrayal. That leads to a dead end. This leads to a... We have to figure out um, who planted the bomb, and we don't know that yet. This branch is also blocked by a who planted the bomb. This is where, this is probably the next one we'll do. This is where Alice somehow betrayed us, even though she was in the infirmary. Definitely curious about that. This whole branch goes from a betrayal we haven't gone down yet. Um, this is blocked by, I only have five minutes left to live. This one goes all the way to the end. We've thoroughly exhausted this branch of the storyline. There's another betrayal we haven't gone down yet. And then this is the only one where we go to the computer and it actually lets us type in a password. But... I have no idea what the username and password could be. It refers back to Memento Mori, but I don't actually know what that's getting at. I, I, I know there's some insignia, so this, this is one place I, if I was like paying more attention or smarter or something, I might be able to move forward here, but as of right now, I don't think I can. Which means, yes, we are, ah, we are coming back to here, and we are betraying Alice, even though she's in the infirmary, which is weird. Thirty seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. So we're starting our betrayal life. Um, it's probably a little late to say this, but you know Alice is still in the infirmary. So You're saying we should pick Ally, right? That's gonna be default to it anyway. Yes. It's not really fair to betray someone who's even voting. That'd be savvy was like a ray of sunshine on a cloudy day. In fact, I knew what I was doing. The minute the nunnery game didn't seem so scary. Ten seconds. Nine. Eight. Seven. Ah, oh, this is gonna make me feel super bad. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Round two of the Ambidex game has been completed. How do I say it's like I think she's gonna betray us? Results will be displayed in the warehouse. Thank you for your oh, I'm, I'm dreading this. Ambidex gates now opening. That's why she didn't say anything in there. I still have the AB room. Why? What happened to it's not fair to betray someone who isn't voting? She actually voted somehow, I don't know how. I thought Nothing I can think of to say. I know. I like. How do I explain this? I don't really understand why I'd be betrayed. I almost felt unconscious, like some other part of my mind was making the decision. Perhaps I've been possessed by some sort of evil spirit. Really? We already know what they are. I don't think you do. It's just simple math. Like their eyes was more painful than any punch I'd ever taken. I turned away, almost ran towards the projector. Anything to get rid of those eyes. Results from round two. I swear to gosh, if she does not actually betray us here, I'm gonna be, be so upset. Displayed. Please direct your attention to the results screen. Okay, good. I was I would be upset. Points have been assigned or subtracted accordingly. Now the real question is why the hell is Alice doing this? Because Alice is literally trying to kill me at this because she is in no danger and like knows that that could actually murder me off. Please check your bracelet to see your updated bracelet points. What? It wasn't possible. Oh, it's possible. I, and again, I wish they would have a reference to the fact that I actually know this happened. How can Alice's vote be betray? She was staying inside the second room from the left. A room that should have been empty. I 
was still really weird. And again, I'm like, I wish there would be some, like, not a, how is this possible? Because it, it lets on the fact that I didn't know it was coming. I heard a quarter beat of gasps. So very in our surprise and our confusion. She was stopping for me and glanced over the display. Thought you'd get an easy couple points, huh? You tried to murder me. Not so easy when you have to look your victim in the eye, is it? Coward. You got some ball after you picked Betray. Why are you even here? You gave me the antivirus, didn't you? Yeah, I saved your life and you, in response, tried to murder me. Tenmyoji told me. Thank you. I mean that from the bottom of my heart, honestly. But you should still be under the effects of the anesthetic. Yes, well, I still am. A bit. I have a throbbing headache, and I can barely stand. It's horrible. That's, and it really annoys me that no one's actually addressing this. Like, I was at one point. If, if I had allied like I did the first time, she would have outright cold-blooded murdered me. She was at no danger from betrayal. Like, she, we both betray each other, only the difference is... If she allies, nothing really changes that much. If I ally, she murders me in cold blood. And nobody's addressing this. Seriously, someone should, like, punch her or something. I'm more resistant to anesthetics than most people. A result of my training. I have a feeling Zero Senior knew that. They gave me way more than the standard dose of that gas when they kidnapped me. How do you know? In any event, a few minutes ago I woke up in the infirmary. Tenmyoji explained what was going on, and I got here as fast as I could. So we're going to the AB room? Yes. Right in the nick of time, too. About ten seconds before the deadline, as I recall. You did that just so you could betray us? And try and kill me? Right. What? Don't I get to do that? No, not when someone's life is on the line. Here's honestly what I should say is like, you know what? Yeah, I felt terrible about it, but I was at one point and I needed to get myself off of death's door. Um, what's your excuse? I mean, it turned out to be the right thing to do, didn't it? The first time you killed me, you bitch. You two chose betray. If I'd stayed back there, I'd have lost two points. So you're saying it was self-defense? Yes. <laughs> You're full of shit. Self-defense, my ass. You chose betray because you wanted out. You had six BP. But if I picked ally, you would have a nine. That's what you were trying so to do. So what if I was? You tried to murder me. Seriously, stab her in the fucking heart. Like I don't even care anymore, Alice. You are dead to me. Are you serious? You would have killed me. You were this close to murdering me. You actually did murder me the first time I made this choice. Submit it. You're planning to kill me so you can escape. <laughs> don't be stupid. No, that's entirely what you did. You are dead to me. I don't even want to ever look at you again. I knew you'd choose betray. Obviously not, because I didn't the first time. There was... That is the truth. It's not the truth, because I didn't choose betray the last time. Why am I the only one getting the third degree here? Because you're the only one that tried to murder someone. Look at those results. Okay, that's actually not true. Dio also tried to murder people. Two other people just tried to kill someone. Oh, now we're playing what aboutism? Oh, I mean, sure, I tried to murder a bunch of kids, but so did those guys. Like, no, that's not an excuse, Alice. That's not. None of them tried to murder me. Yes. If Dia had chosen ally, Phi would have killed Tenmyoji. And if she'd chosen ally, Dia would have killed her. I don't want to be rude, but it looks like Clover and Kay tried to trick one another. That's all very true, but you know what? The fact that other people are trying to be murderous assholes does not help things. Not that it seems to have worked. If either one had chosen ally, the other one would have 9 BP right now. Let's really the results again. I don't even look at my own. I hadn't realized there was only one word across all the roster. Betray. Whatever trust we managed to build has completely fallen apart. Everyone was suspicious of everyone else. 
that have been the bomb. I'm still mad about Alice. Like, there's no way to look at that other than... Because that's the thing, even... other Up until now, Dio was the only one that would cold-bloodedly murder someone to get out. Um, no one else was... Like, a lot of people would leave when they got to 90 points. But no one has actually actively attempted to kill others to get out. And now it's Alice and Dio will outright murder people to be able to get out of this. And so, yeah, I just, I've completely lost any respect I had for Alice. No reason. If it kept up, we'd never manage to escape. We have to cycle zero point rounds for the rest of our lives. Something had to be done. <laughs> Probably already figured this out. We can't keep going like this. we will start being a little more trusting. We're never gonna get out of here. We need to work together. My apologies, Sigma, but I need to think on something for a bit. I would appreciate being left alone. I'll be leaving too. Things are getting a little too intense here for my delicate constitution. Yeah, whatever, man. Sorry. Well, in that case. Fight. Yeah, sorry. I don't know where she turned off the warehouse. The young cake would be called suit. See? There's your answer. In the end, everyone's just thinking about themselves. So I would appreciate it if you could not treat me like I'm the only villain here. Alice, you still tried to murder me. You don't get to try and murder someone and then be like, I don't know why you're treating me like such a villain. I only tried to kill you. Like, even if you had a point, and frankly, I think that you don't, because at least both Dio and Fee, or in this case, Tenmyoji and Fee, can claim self-defense. You can't. You had no reason to try and murder it other than plain selfishness. Come on, Clover. Let's go. Hold on! I'm coming! Clover, ditch her. Yes, and even beyond that, I saved your life, and then you tried to kill me. Are you feeling okay? I was really worried, you know? I should walk over, jumping with delight to have Alice back. For long, there was the yellow door and disappeared beyond it. Everyone's gone. Yeah. Are you sure? I did choose betray. I know, but I still believe in you, Sigma. I think your hand must have just slipped or something. Right? My chest hurt. When I blinked, I felt something hot, wet through the corners of my eyes. I bit my lip. I didn't have anything else to say. The metallic rumble of doors closing. I go through the warehouse. Those doors are like, no, it's at nine points. How is the door closing? The Ambidex Gates. Have closed. Round three of the Ambidex game will be the star round. Star keys are required to open the For gates. some reason I thought we were already at the star round, but obviously not. There is no set limit on usage of the star keys. The Ambidex gates can be opened as many times as the players wish to open them. <laughs> Yes, as long as we have the star keys. That means we can keep playing the AB game over and over, too. Yep. Um, Sigma? Could you show me your bracelet? Do you remember what Zero Junior yeah, the, said? Yeah, the colors shuffle around. Can I skip this? Uh, a pair and solo assignments, Hopper. Okay, I can't. I'm a cyan pair. I'm a magenta pair. They are. could be anything, I suppose. Yeah, we definitely don't have enough information to make any guesses at this point. You won't know until we have a look. Well, we've got about an hour and a half. Eighteen minutes and set of five doors open. Everyone else has gone off on their own. Physically and emotionally. I really don't like how this is going. No matter how many times we beat the A B game, no one trusts anyone else. We'll never be able to get out of here. Maybe it would help if we all had a common goal. Press ally. <laughs> Something to unite our hearts and minds. I'm already got something like that. 
They all want to get out of here. It seems like a pretty clear goal, but everyone chose the train. Including me. Well, what if we have an enemy? Yes, a common foe. Interesting suggestion. Like the person who set the bombs, for instance. Oh, is this where I find out who did that? The laboratory about the bomb which gave Alex the quark the Celebrator. That one will work. Yeah, which one was planning the bombs? Everyone else could work together again. Right. Well, do you have any clues? I'm not blue. That's right. The memory card. What's this? I told you it's a memory card. It's under the bomb we found in the lab. I think whoever set the bomb dropped it. Really? I don't know what's on it. We couldn't find any kind of memory card reader. Oh, I guess we can't really use it then. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, there's one in the infirmary. You know what? I think I might have seen something. So you've used it before. Yes, I remember. The infirmary. Yep. I saw it when I was searching the infirmary with Theo and Quark. There was a memory card just like that one. Yes! Well, let's I think go see we what's can on see it. what's on it. The computer there should be able to read it. Fantastic. Let's learn stuff. Cork was there as well, of course. We was just asleep on the bed. What are you doing here? I don't retort, but then I thought better of it. When people start trusting each other, well, it'll change starts at home. As I could, I explained to her second bomb the memory card, and the infirmary in the hope to discover the contents of the ladder. Okay. Then stick it in already! Yeah, that can't be taken out of context. Go ahead. I said there's a small slot on the screen, exactly the right size to fit a memory card. Interesting. I am definitely noticing that they seem to be split into parts. Because, like, if you look in the middle, very middle of the screen, like here, this is just O S O S O S, and then R E R E R E. I don't think it does it Z E Z E Z E. N V N V N V. So yeah, it's it's the same line repeated. So it's like each of the three. <laughs> Six rows, twenty-two letters each. It looks like the odd rows use one set of letters, and the even rows use another set. Yep. In other words, the first two rows just repeat. I had noticed that as well. Yeah. Is that some kind of code or something? It doesn't look random to me. I think there might be a pattern. I just don't know what it is. Bring your own lunch. Was there anything else on there? No, it doesn't look like it. So all we get is gibberish. Hey, Alice, you haven't said anything for a while. What's up? Does any of this look familiar to you, Clover? Um, what do you mean? She means, does any of it look familiar to you? It's a pretty simple and straightforward question. Have you seen something like this before? Maybe during your training? So you do recognize it. That was a test. All right, knock it off, you two. How about you share it with the rest of the class? I was wondering if he was going to say rest of the class. It just felt like an idiom he would use. I'll sign and stretch her neck from side to side. I believe this is an encoded message from a terrorist organization. What? They call themselves the Myrmidons. Oh, hey, I fought those in Warcraft 3. Myrmidons. For some reason, I thought like I heard that name before. What are the Myrmidons? They're, uh, snake people from Warcraft 3. Put simply, they're a bunch of thugs who are trying to destroy or dismantle most of human civilization. Well, that certainly seems like an unbiased review. So this thing we're looking at... You think it's theirs? Well, they have a number of different codes, but I do think this is one of them. Then the bomb? It was set by one of the Myrmidons, wasn't it? Interesting. Yes. Well, I can't say for sure, of course, but it seems likely. 
So most likely it's not these two, because they are trained against the Myrmidon, so it's unlikely that the CIA or whoever the hell they work for is going to accidentally recruit a Myrmidon. Not impossible, but it makes it significantly less likely. Okay, I've got a ton of questions. Let me start with this one. What the heck does this thing actually say? I don't know. How am I supposed to decode it? I don't have the key. Without a key, it would take literally hundreds of years to decode. Not for me and my robot brain. What about you, Clover? Well, if Alice doesn't know how, I sure don't. I see. Hmm. How much we can do then? I'm coming back to the code stuff. I got another question. Who the hell are you two? Why do you know about this code? That's... Your job is to eliminate enemies in the state or something like that. So what the hell kind of job is that? Dot dot dot! Sorry, but I can't. Because you might be one of them. You might be the person who set the bomb. I do think this is going to be the one where we find out who set the bomb and be able to unlock the other paths. It's idiotic. Of course I'm not. Really? And where's your proof? For all I know, you're my enemy. I can't tell you anything. You've used this line of reasoning before. I, I can't even say that after we just betrayed each other. So when all of us get out of here, just... God damn it, tell us. We need to find out who this is so we can all... Who did this so we can all escape. We have too little information and we need your help. Fine, if you want to tell us about yourself, just tell us about the Myrmidons. What else do you know about them? I'm sorry. I can blink. She left and ran from the room. Took off after her. How long are you going to keep following me? Depends how long I'm going to keep running. I'm very athletic, and I'm well-oiled. Can you tell me what you then know? Then why don't you just ask Clover? You already know she works with me. Uh, then yeah. why don't you... I want... I want to hear it from you. Why? That is a good question. Are the cube quarters of this garden? I paired up for two separate rounds. I spent more time with you than anyone else here. Maybe that's it. I guess I'm just... curious. What are you talking about? Interesting and unexpected. I found a path where it ended next to the pond. Please tell me we're not going to break her guard because she realizes she has feelings for the person she tried to kill. That will be a very, like, not good piece of writing from a game that's usually just very good writing. Sat down on the bench, we gazed at the smooth surface of the pond for several long minutes. You don't hate me? I... I tried to kill you. I mean, as a player or as a character? Because I'm still not forgiving you for that, Miss Alice. Not the AB game or some other time. Yes. I was so scared. Who wouldn't be? Kidnapped and locked up, forced to play some sort of bizarre game. And then we found that bomb. I know I probably sounded calm, but as soon as we found that thing, all I wanted to do was run away from it as fast as I could. Yeah, I'm... Ugh. Here's the one excuse that we have for her, is that she had 10 seconds and made a decision without thinking through it. That is what I'm going to... That is the explanation I will accept. None of this other crap. Things just went downhill from there. I remember hearing that Quark had collapsed and running to the infirmary with everyone else. When I got there, I realized I couldn't understand what anyone was saying. And everything looked... I don't know how to describe it. It was like watching a video on Fast Forward, only it was real. Then I started to feel like... It's hard to explain. I, I felt it before, actually. I guess you could say I didn't feel like I was myself, and it only got worse. That's probably the Rackle Yes, six. I think so. I don't remember much after that. But when I woke up in the infirmary, suddenly all that fear was back. So I... 
all I could think about was getting out of this place as fast as I could. It never even crossed my mind that it could kill you. See, that's what I needed to hear. That's the, that's the line that makes me not super mad at her anymore. God help me, even if it had, I don't think I would have cared. Okay, I just was, like, forgiving you. Don't, 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 don't ruin it. See? I'm horrible. You hate me, don't you? You really want me to. Just do it! <laughs> kill me! I'm not here to kill you, Alice. Although I probably could, because I got these strong metal eye Get it arms. over with! <laughs> what the, Alice, I'm not going to kill you. I really hate you. You're lying! I could have killed you. I would have killed you. <laughs> God dang it, Alice. You're you're being delusional. Single tear rolled down Alice's cheek. And another and another. Leaving shining lines across her face. I reached out, I saw her tense just slightly. Slowly I brushed my thumb across her cheek and off. Taking your tears with it. Why are you doing this? You know, you kind of remind me of my father. That's an interesting idea, actually. Because once we get the star keys, we can go over and over and over again. Can't we set it up where we keep using strategic betrayals until everyone gets to seven or eight points? And then we say, okay, this round, everyone ally. That way everyone gets to nine points. And there's no real reason to betray because the end goal... The, what we keep running into is people at six points that betray becomes d desirous. But if we can manipulate it so that everyone gets to seven or eight points at the same time... <laughs> that's who you were after, right? People who killed your dad? Yes. Did they have anything to do with the Myrmidons? Will you promise not to tell Clover that I cried? To Alice, crying is not a mark of shame. <laughs> if you keep your mouth shut, I'll tell you what you want to know. How long do I have to keep my mouth shut? And is it okay if I broadcast this to the internet? About myself. And about the Mirrodons. Deal? That's a very odd piece of leverage you're suddenly giving me. Sealed. Really? What crying? I don't remember any crying. Good. All right then. Such an odd scene. Although it, it is making me not be able to be mad. I am such a freaking softy. As soon as they actually have someone crying, I can't stay mad at them. Let's do a deep breath and begin. My father is Egyptian. But my mother's French. They met while my mother was in Egypt on vacation and married shortly thereafter. When I was three, we all moved to the U.S. Well, this makes it very hard for you to be all ice. My father was a scientist, and his field was cloning, screwed by an American lab, which was why we moved. Both my parents had used English around me from the time I was born, so I didn't have any problems adapting to life in the U United States. On my ninth birthday, we'd been there for six years. That's when it happened. In the middle of the day, my mother showed up at school. Her eyes were red and puffy, and she didn't say anything to me on the drive home. When she arrived, there were several policemen there to meet us. My father had always been a very punctual man. When I kind of came, I went with no sign of him. Even I began to realize something terrible had happened. Several years later, I finally learned the truth. My father's life had been attacked by terrorists, and he had been kidnapped. This is how the Myrmidons fought factor into things. For the rest of my childhood, my mother raised me by herself. I didn't realize it, but it must have been incredibly difficult on her. A single mother alone in a country with it, where any relatives were a transatlantic flight away. She did her best not to let me see it, but every so often, when she thought that she was alone, the mask would fall away, and every line in her face I could see exhaustion and loneliness. As much as I missed my father, so those moments that made me wish more than anything that he'd never been taken. 
Unfortunately, I was an excellent student, especially well in math, and full ride scholarships straight out of high school spent the next several years studying. After graduation, I took a job with the Department of Defense, hoping they might have some of the resources to help me look for my father. I was immediately assigned to a special office of internal security. Their purpose is to investigate, and sometimes deal with terrorist organizations and other serious threats to the state. Awfully and suspiciously convenient. I could tell my mother wasn't happy about my decision, but she chose to remain silent about it. Eventually, I learned the terrorist organization that had taken my father was none other than Myrmidons, although at the time that name didn't mean anything to me. They were suspected of human cloning, specifically thought that they would use cloning techniques to copy the most useful members and expand their ranks. Okay, that's not actually how cloning works. The Myrmidons apparently believed they could use cloning to create a new race of humans. Now at last, I knew the reason for my father's abduction. The commander of the Myrmidons is a man named Left. Lieutenant Sebastian? We know his name and his gender, but not his appearance or age. I really doubt Left is his name. You know his alias and his gender. Myrmidons are closely associated with a cult known as Free the Soul. I believe that Free the Soul provides their funding. That's interesting, because whenever Quark got Reticle 6, he was talking about how his soul has to get free. So I wonder if Free the Soul are the ones that developed Radical 6. I bet they are. I'm trying to pin any kind of misdeeds of the cult's leader, a man named Brothers, it's like trying to nail Jello to a wall. But they're supposed to be fairly advanced in years, and rumors say he's so old, he can't even get out of bed. Of course, his mind seems to be as sharp as ever. At that point, I had a wall. Many of the Myrmidons had been behind my father's kidnapping. That was all I could learn about them. Then one day, I got a tip that someone were hiding in a building in the Nevada desert. Oh, okay, so she actually is the one that was picked up. Interesting. Yep, because I remember this scene. I had kind of some engine trouble installed out. This was quite the scene to end uh, 999 on, I will tell you what. Whew! decide what to do when an SUV appeared out of nowhere. Why were you barefoot? Okay, one guess is who was by the steering wheel. Clover. That was the first time we'd met. Before the people in the car were with her and asked what they were doing, all I got was just about the last answer I expected. They told me they'd been locked up inside the very building I'd been on my way to investigate, and that they were currently in pursuit of the people who kidnapped them in the first place. Shifted really quick. After a short discussion, I convinced they allowed me to come along. My hope was to find the people they were chasing, and I was certain were the Myrmidons. At the end, we were unable to track them down. In fact, I still don't know where they might have gone. Eventually, I took Clover and her companions to uh, SOS headquarters. The State Office of Internal Security? Not involving the police would only complicate things. The question was determined that the people who investigate say that particular event were not connected to the Myrmidons. We did discover that the sheer disappearance and subsequent reappearance of several children nine years prior was connected to Free the Soul. There was also a sixth person SUV, although they weren't riding in it per se. An old aged man who we'll just call H for now had been bound and placed in the trunk. Yep, um, what was it, Higurashi? No. Hongru? Obvi it's Ace. I forget his actual name. And the other four, he'd been behind the disappearance of the children nine years earlier. I also learned that his pharmaceutical company, a major player on the world stage, was effectively controlled by Free the Soul. More specifically, Ace was a member of Free the Soul and very committed to their cause. So why did he kidnap all those children? Apparently, they were part of an experiment designed to test the ability of certain people to access what's called a morphogenetic field. Which again, is sort of what's happening to me, but not quite. I don't imagine you've ever heard of it before, so I'll try and give you a quick rundown. No, I've heard of it, I played the previous game. 
Simply put, we can access a sort of field that allows their consciousness to resonate with the consciousness of certain other people. To be honest, it might just be similar to call it telepathy. Yes, so I asked at her about that particular ability before, and she used it on a number of investigations, so I wasn't surprised to learn of its existence. I was charged to learn the experiments to be carried out by a member of Free the Soul. If that was the case, then Brother must have known about it. Of him discovering a way to control and harness that kind of power was terrifying. It wasn't too long after the incident in Nevada that another tip about the Myrmidons crossed my desk. This time, the Mishnahs intended a large scale technological terrorist attack. The bosses decided we needed more agents to deal with the threat of that magnitude, and Clover was recruited. I was like, yeah, why Clover of all people? Like, I get what she's saying here, that she had some sort of resonance with her brother. But why Clover of all the survivors? I feel like Clover's the least qualified. She's a little unhinged. Seven months of training, she was sent on her first mission. She was tasked with the infiltration investigation of a Myrmidon cloning lab. Wait, that's her first mission? That seemed like, shouldn't you have her like go to the bakery and get pastries? Something a little less... It's time to be our commanding officer. After investigation, might give me a lead on my father's whereabouts. And last, I had a chance to find out what had happened to him. Perhaps that's what kept me from noticing the truth. All operation was a trap. While I was a fake, Clover was captured almost immediately. Well, I mean, who was surprised that Clover isn't able to be super, like, secretive and, uh, like, below suspicion? I said, Cook, when I arrived, Bill was only an empty shell. All the conspirators who had pretended to be researchers that like had already fled. So I was frantic for Clover until at last, in a basement room, I found her. She'd been tied to a chair, but the floor next to her was another body. Don't be a, or don't be snake. Oh, damn. As if he's been dumped there. Got to, his, got to him, his body was already cold. It's covered in dark, ugly bruises. Until later, I learned he had died from ruptured organs and internal bleeding. Holy crap, they kept him alive for that long and then just dumped him? They'd beaten him to death. Clover had been captured, maybe on the mask had come to visit her. He said unless he wanted to end up like my father, she would leave them alone and tell the masters of the SOIS to do so. Do likewise. Which but they must have known who I was and who my father was. That was why they killed him. Perhaps they thought they were sending a message to me. Or once he was gone, I'd lose my reason for chasing them. Yeah, they didn't think that through very well, did they? They were very, very wrong. I took Clover with me and left. I could so much of the fact that I had at least been able to save her. Some line later, she took off the corner. I mean, there was something I needed to see. Or my father, cold and pale on the steel table. I really seemed to look at him, but the corner insisted. On his arm were two rows of numbers, comprised of eights and nines. He had carved them into his own skin. The chest was another mess, but they were letters this time and not numbers. Not many, just enough to make a short sentence. I love you, Alice. Worked out crying. Man, for someone that doesn't like people to know she cries, she seems to cry a lot. Just saying. With the first tears I'd shed since the operation had started, there was no stopping them. There would be no forgiveness. After the monsters put my father through all this, they had destroyed my family. I'd make them pay, even if I had to die to do it. I would avenge my father. It didn't take long to figure out the numbers he'd written it for latitude and longitude. Found to a chemical factory that had been disguised as an abandoned building. For the investigation revealed it was the mother load we'd been looking for. Headquarters of the Myrmidons. I think my father must have known how things would turn out. Knowing he was going to die, and his directions to our enemy's fortress on his own body. He sacrificed too much for me to waste this opportunity with recklessness. This time the operation would succeed. I wouldn't let my excitement put Clover or any of my other agents in danger. So we took our time, gathered information, did our research, and we planned. Finally, we were ready. It's November 25th, 2028. It's going to be the day we finally set for foot inside the Mirrodon stronghold. And on the 22nd, two days before the operation was scheduled to begin, 
and a gas mask appeared. All right, and that what? is a great place to end. Thank you very much for tuning in, everyone. I will see you in the next one. I do have to say that, yes, Alice is redeeming herself for me. Um, was I, I don't think I have to tell you, I was super annoyed at how selfish she was being before. But hey, we get to go down this lovely pathway and see where it goes. We are definitely getting towards the end. Those, I'm hoping, I'm kind of wondering what these are, because they're long, long, long paths of betrayal. They'll take a bit. But we're still getting relatively close to beating the game, I think, maybe, I don't know. See you next time.